welcome to planter garden tv or welcome back to planter garden tv today as you can see these potatoes start quailing and the showing sign that they basically ready to harvest sometimes i leave the vines to dry before i harvest but to, I'm trying to plant as much food as I can, try to get as much harvest as I can. So I'm not going to wait until another two weeks for the vines to dry. Because sometimes the potato already reached the size it want to reach and it just curing. So what I'm going to do, I'm, instead I leave them, I'm going to try harvest a few and see what's going on. Then I have room to plant other stuff. So. I'm gonna start from here and see what's going on. Okay. All right. So, we have potato here. Guys, you see the soil? Soil is so rich. All right. So we have this. What I do, I just put Put, put this back in the oat. So I'm gonna be harvesting the ones them that look quail the most. In this area, we have all different type of potato because I really wanted to see the result, planting them with each other to see, you know, what can happen. You see, look how the soil is so soft. My hand, my hand can dig the hole. Okay, so let's go with this one. Oh, wow. Pretty good size, guys. These are potato seeds. These are the seeds. So these are the one you can just leave back in the soil or you can hold them and plant them back whenever you feel like. Okay. Oh, yeah, dig off this one. You gotta be careful too, guys. Or you could also dig, dig up your potato as well. Okay, so now, this area here now, I can definitely plant something. Soil is so soft and rich. All right, so let's go again. A lot of the potato gonna be this size because I plant different type of potato. I plant some big and I plant some that gonna become like this. Small potatoes. I mix, I mix it. Okay. You have a thin potato and you're making room at the same time to plant other food. I have some seed I want to set 
so I can set them right here. At the same time, I have potato to eat. You see, it's a different type of potato here. See how that one is gold, and this one is this lighter color. I think they do pretty well with each other. I really think they do pretty well with each other. So, I'm just gonna harvest this one and I'm gonna leave the others. So just like this, have a pretty decent put it, all these you're gonna put these for compost pretty decent potato harvest yeah you see different kind of potato Okay, so let's see this one and that's it. We're gonna leave the others for our next day. Cause so that's basically dinner right there. I'm not gonna cook them today. I'm gonna leave them for a little bit. But that's dinner right there. This potato, you don't need to peel these potato. You could cook them just like this. You can steam them. You can do whatever you like. But you, the skin, I do not chew with the skin. I eat the potato skin as well. Okay, so let's take up these two. And that's it. Nice potato harvest, and we can also <laughs> okay. We can also this is a piece of potato, so I'm gonna replant this. So now, that's it. Not digging anymore. So let me show you now how much potato I have with my few hands, the small harvest, and I also have an area to replant more food. So let's come over this side. Okay. So we have two different type of potato. I plant them the same place and this is the result so we have dinner from harvesting a couple root of potato all right so check them out yes guys nice root of potato thank you guys for watching Hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to hit that, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you did not. Blessing to all. Peace. We have, mostly we have red potato here. So I have a few here I wanna harvest. Cause you can see, usually when the leaf is drying like this, is when you know they're ready to harvest. So I plant these after and these still looking green growing up there. So I'm just gonna harvest this little area here. So let's see what's going on now. Okay, let's see. Okay. 
Okay. Now we have potato here. Let's see what's going on. Oh, this is nice. Yeah. Okay, so we'll put them over here. Let's see how much potato we can get from this little area here. It don't make sense I leave the potato for two weeks when another plant could almost ready to harvest right in this area. Oh wow. Oh wow. Pretty nice size guys. Okay. Ooh, pretty decent size. Oh, this is a pretty nice harvest going on here today. All right, let's see what's going on over here. Yes, the hard walk is paying off. This is awesome. These are the seeds. Oh yeah. Awesome. Okay. All these, you can always drop them back in the oat. They're going to shoot back up whenever they're ready. Maybe next spring, who knows? Maybe before that. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm not harvesting. Okay, the one here. All right, guys. I'm not going no further because, okay, I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna leave the rest. Not going no further because, as you can see, them down there are still green. So there's no need for me to harvest them. Let me see. Okay, so let's do this one. Let's do this one and that's it for the day. We're gonna go along, we're gonna harvest mint. We're gonna harvest tomatoes. The harvest time no begin. Ooh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about, guys. That's what I'm talking about. This is something I try new this year. I try plant different potato together to see the result. And I think they did pretty well. All right. So this is our little potato harvest. This is what's going on right here. And then we also have a root of this one. So no more for the day with potato. I think I have is enough and what gonna happen I'm gonna plant something else in this in this space until I harvest this down there then I'm gonna plant other things okay all right so now we're gonna go with the tomatoes 
see what we can do with the tomatoes now we also have mint we're going on harvest so let's see what's going on here now all right okay guys like i explained to you guys these limbs these leaves really don't need here we're trying to go tomato not leaves okay but you have to know which leaf to cut you cannot cut this one <laughs> you know what i'm saying because you're cutting the plant that's running up there itself you only cutting dead leaf not the leaf that's gonna take the plant higher up okay so just remember that but right here as you see we have one right here have a beautiful tomato right there okay all right so let's go up this side all these limbs do not need it we're not growing leaves we're growing tomatoes okay let's go up this side let's see what's going on all right so honestly i want to pick all these i, I just love to pick them right from the tree honestly this tree i think i gotta pick this tree right here they already start turning so i'm gonna pick them okay all right so all right i have a ripe one here oh this is beautiful this is a beautiful tomato right here I'm thinking about picking the whole bunch, but nah, I'll just pick this one. And this big leaf does not benefit in the plant in any form, so I'm just getting rid of them. All right, guys, remember I tell you, this big leaf does not do anything to the plant at this moment so it's wise to get rid of them but you like i'm saying you have to know which one to cut you cannot cut this limb because you're gonna cut the blast you see what's going on here but we also have a ripe tomato here so i'm gonna take this one as well yeah like this limb you could get rid of this no need to have them just be careful which one you cut we're growing tomatoes we're not trying to grow leaves all these leaves drain from the tomato itself okay all that go in my compost bin okay guys so so now we have this potato we have this tomatoes what we're gonna have is now we're gonna have this mint yes lots of mint here to harvest guys look at these mints mint is very invasive so if you allow them they will take over your garden. So you got to be ahead of them at all times. So when I cut them low like this, I have all the mints and then it's going to take them some time to grow back up. So now I cannot use all this mint at once, but what I'm guys all this is mint mm. Mm. I'm gonna cut all of them because 
by the time the rain come everything gonna be up again sometimes the more you cut them the more they grow you know so When you buy them from the store, you barely could smell the mint. Okay. Mm. I also have chocolate mint, which, okay, let me cut this. This one is what you call chocolate mint. This one here, this is chocolate mint. So, this is my first year cutting mint like this usually I just allow them to run and but what I notice I'm losing a lot of them because I'm just allowing them to run and dry and then just leave them okay. All right, so now guys, what we're gonna do, let me go and put all the harvest together and show the beautiful harvest we got today. I'm so grateful because my hard work is definitely paying off. I put in a lot of work into this all these is mint we have tomatoes we have potato here and we also have a bowl of potato up here as well all right guys thank you guys for watching no i still have another harvest to do guys so I'm gonna put this here. Okay. I'm gonna put this here and let me go over and make this harvest because I've been procrastinating with them for so long and I think they're definitely ready to harvest. We have scallion and we have this is an edible. The name Agoa, something like that. Uh, Agoa, something like that. But the, the leaf is so delicious. It's a spicy leaf. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just cut off the top and allow them to keep growing. And they, they, almost, they also start pushing seed. All I want is the leaf, so the rain kind of blow them down. So I'm gonna just cut them and take the leaf from them. I'm gonna leave a few because I need seeds. This tastes so delicious. So delicious. Right, so the few that's there, I'm gonna just leave them. So what I will do, I will just pick these off and eat them. All right, so now we have our scallion here. So what we do is, these are scallion, I just replant the bottom. And they're doing awesome. So I'm not going and pull them up what I'm going and do, I'm going and cut them right here. That's where I'm gonna cut them. Cut this one right there. And what's gonna happen, they're gonna just regrow. So scallion is something 
I used to cook with. I even added to my seasoning. Mm. It smells just like onion and garlic. This is an amazing harvest, guys. Saving me from going to the store. This garden is like a supermarket where you can come and just get food every week. You could come every week, like how you go to the supermarket. Okay, guys. So this was an awesome harvest study. I'm very grateful. I'm truly grateful to put in the work and able to have a decent harvest. So, Right, so let me get the potato and show you guys exactly what I have. All right, guys. I have more potato over there but I just want to show you guys the harvest I get today so we have a pile of mint here all this is mint mm, amazing we got the aruga we have the scallion we have few tomatoes we have potato I have more potato over here so let me go and get them all right okay guys we don't do anything fancy here we do everything natural because we want everything to look natural we want people to understand you think that would be fancy you could do it the natural way and still be productive all right i just want you guys i just want to thank you guys for the support Thank you guys for this journey. I truly appreciate you guys. Guys, don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share the video if you can. I truly appreciate you guys. But this is an amazing harvest, only in June. Thank you guys, appreciate you guys. Peace and love.